I'm Nick Poole, creative technologist with SparkFun Electronics, and today we're at South by Create helping people put together these badge kits. Now, it's partially a soldering activity, and so people learn how to solder if they've never done it before, and it's partially a game. So there's a scavenger hunt where you're finding programming stations to plug these badges into and collect points. Once you've collected enough points, the badge releases a coupon code for our website. You also get to keep the badge and take it home, and hopefully people will go onto our website learn through the tutorial how to reprogram them and then hack their badges and make it say different things on the screen. Uh, Steven, it looks like you have a big long line for this event. Has it been like this all weekend? We have had lines out of the tent and around the corner all weekend. People are really excited to do this activity and I've had a lot of people come back and show me their badge after they've won. It's been a lot of fun. That's awesome. Any idea how many badges have been put together so far? I'm not sure what the count is so far, but I know that we came with 1,500 badges and I believe this morning we had 500 left. So we're likely to have gone through all of them by the end of the day. And what do you think the youngest age uh, person who put one together is then? Youngest age who has put one together may have been seven or eight years old. Cool. And if people want to learn more about these badges, there's somewhere online that can go and find information. If you want to know more about these badges, you can visit uh, sparkfun.com slash badgerhack. And that'll explain the badges. They're open source. You can get all of the code and all of the board files. Great. Thank you so much for telling us about it today. Absolutely.